Jeremiah chapter 1 is our introduction to the weeping prophet of God. The ministry of Jeremiah would be categorized by the fact that God tells Jeremiah his message will be rejected, actually. Jeremiah's ministry observes the downfall and captivity of the nation of Judah. But Jeremiah's success wasn't defined by how well the message was received, but by his obedience. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say, I am only a youth. For to all to whom I send you, you shall go. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. God's direction to Jeremiah isn't for him to be the Billy Graham of his time and to bring massive revival, because God knew the hearts of the people and that they would reject his message. God sent Jeremiah so that the people would be without excuse since God gave them every opportunity, but they still rejected him. In verse 8, Jeremiah is instructed not to fear the people. And I love the way the King James Version says it, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Jeremiah was being sent to an unreceptive, cold-hearted, and hard-faced group of people who would reject him, but God was with him either way. Here is our takeaway for today. As believers, our responsibility is to share the good news of forgiveness of sins through Jesus Christ. But just like Jeremiah, our success in giving the gospel isn't measured by whether or not it's always received, but by our obedience to share the message. Of course, we celebrate together when one lost person receives Christ, and we need to continue to share and to be a light. God has called us to be obedient in sharing the truth, and we can trust him to do the rest.